While getting the kids ready for bed the other night, I finally snapped. <laughs> they didn't do anything wrong. There was no fighting or disastrous cleanup. We were reading books. Not just any books. We were reading children's books. <laughs> so why am I so upset? <laughs> well, square. Red. Square is red. The end. Wait, that's it? How much did that book cost? This of course started a frenzy of me checking every single book that was on the shelf. Shapes. Quack quack. Numbers. Bear says thanks. Everybody poops. Now I understand that teaching little children their shapes and colors, letters and numbers, animals and sound is vital to their development. I'm not trying to put a stop to that, but come on! Ten dollars for a book about numbers! I recently read a book to my child about a seedling that goes to her grandmother's house and has a big bowl of ice cream. <gasps> what? And if we're gonna subject our children to this kind of stuff, let's at least make the art interesting for everyone to look at. But the fun doesn't stop there. No, children's shows and nursery rhymes is where it really gets interesting. The books I can deal with and the shows and movies, I can explain those to my kids. But the nursery rhymes... <laughs> rock a baby in the treetop When the wind blows, the cradle will rock When the bow the cradle will fall and down will come baby cradle and all what is wrong with you people why would you ever subject children to such horrific scenes is there anything out there in this world that can explain death to a child without it being horrified actually there is my dad has created a solution to all your child book and poem problems. He wrote and illustrated a book entitled The Good Shepherd. We included this book in the plot of our film, The War Within. It's a children's book that tackles the subject of death by showing the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. The illustrations are fantastic, the poem is beautiful, the story is uplifting, and children love it! It's a fairly priced book and fun for both children and adults. We even animated the book into a video for your viewing pleasure. Look, from one parent to another, when reading expensive books to your children, you may proclaim yourself to be wise, but you become a fool. If you agree, please like, share, and subscribe. You can also check out The Good Shepherd by going to thewarwithinmovie.com. Daddy, read this book to me. Ah, oh, sorry. Gotta go. Anyway. <laughs>